We've got some major developments right now. So Bitcoin just made hidden bullish divergence on the four hour time frame. What does that mean? Very, very likely we get a shot from 63,000 up to 65,000. Now I am gonna go over the bullish and the bear case for Bitcoin. And I do wanna reiterate what is hidden bullish divergence? That is when the price is making higher lows and the RSI is making lower lows in the context of an uptrend. By the way, in cryptcourses.com, there's a link in the description below. We have a full video on what bullish and bearish divergence is. But now more importantly, I wanna go over the bull case and the bear case for Bitcoin in the short term as we're coming into the end of the month for the month of April. So, what are some of the bull case scenarios? One, I wanna bring your attention to the bull moon. Yes, we had a bull moon just a few days ago. I don't know if you believe in the moons, I don't, but the chart doesn't lie. When you get a bull moon, price tends to go up. Number two, the production cost of Bitcoin. Very, very important. After the Bitcoin having the production cost doubles, it went from 30,000 to roughly 70,000. So should be a new floor for Bitcoin. What else? We have potential rate cut scenario. I mean, I think, what is it? Nine out of 14 Fed members, they're all pricing in some kind of a rate cut this year. That would be very good for crypto and the stock market in general. Additionally, we have an election year. There's no way the Democrats are gonna let the stock market go down in an election year. Number three, we just had the ETFs approved. We're seeing the widest adoption of crypto by institutions that we've seen in history. For uh, Hong Kong, the people that made Bitcoin illegal, the Chinese, right? They have now just approved the Hong Kong Bitcoin and Ethereum ETF. And I want you to know, May for Bitcoin, which is coming up next month, May has been historically a green month for Bitcoin in an election year, it's always been a green month. Okay, there's the bull case. What is the bear case for Bitcoin? Well, we could get no rate cuts. We could get no rate cuts. I don't see why, um, you know, with inflation, <laughs> that's one reason. Number two, we got bearish divergence on the five day time frame, which could indicate a swift move down to about 48,000, um, somewhere around 50, 48,000. So we've got multiple drives of bearish divergence on the five day time frame. That is where the price is making higher highs, the RSI is making lower highs. Secondly, the news that came out last week, GDP came out lower than expected. Inflation came out higher than expected. And now today we got the jobs reports, so jobless claims, the jolts numbers, the bolts numbers, whatever you wanna call it. And if the job reports indicate that more people are unemployed or losing their jobs, we'll have a very similar scenario to the 1970s inflationary crisis called stagflation, right? Where in inflation went up to 18% and then we had to get Paul Volcker. Now, to me, um, and, and also our debt went from 300 billion to $3 trillion. So this, in my opinion, is the perfect environment for Bitcoin to show himself strong, to show himself as anti-fragile. Look, when war comes, Bitcoin goes up. When stocks crash, ultimately Bitcoin goes up. If you look at Bitcoin on the chart, it's sideways and up and to the right. And I want to remind everybody, yes, we did have the Bitcoin halving. Typically, after the Bitcoin halving, Bitcoin does consolidate for some time. Here is the range, 73,000 to the upside, 60,000 to the downside. The typical consolidation will last anywhere from, I would say, 60 to 120 days. And what typically happens, we break out to the upside. So if you feel like you're too late, well, um, I think there's an excellent buying opportunity along the bottom side of the range, somewhere between you know 60 and 58,000, an easy way to manage the risk with a stop loss below 58K. Um, and you're targeting the top side of the range coming in at 73,000 with a breakout. Typically what happens after we break the range, maybe we go to 80K, we will come back and test 
the top side of the range at 73,000. That would be the buying opportunity of the year if Bitcoin is going to remain bullish. There's my analysis, guys. I hope you liked it and have yourself a great day.